Well, I'm headed to the night gig, but it looks like bad weather. Forecast is clear and sunny. As you can see, it is all around me, but all of a sudden now we got some clouds that are moving in. We we'll have to see how that goes. It's Thursday, beautiful day. The guru, I just stopped by the guru's house. He had his van loaded up. Him and Gary were going on a road trip to Myrtle Beach. He hit the starter button on his car, the key, I mean, and she's dead. He's got to have a tow truck and tow it somewhere, see if he can find out what's wrong with it. <laughs> Loaded with detector gears. Scoops, detectors, you know, everything you carry for three or four days. He's mumbling bad right now, the guru is. God knows. I had to leave. He's making me cry. Stand by. Well, I'm set up. Ready to go. Wicked edge right now. I bought my buffer and my metal thing today and my Kalamazoo and I already got one customer. The guy that does the cleanup around, his name is Russell. And he found this in the parking lot. It says o OM, which I don't know what that is. There's no other. Well, here it says, I'll oh, stand by, I'll give you that in a minute. But you can see it's uh, sort of like serrated, but the tips all banged up on it. So it's just in luck I had the uh, Kalamazoo with me today. I can get her back in shape. The lock doesn't work too good. It, it, it'll open up, it'll close on your fingers, you know. Where well, it's been a run over, I guess. All right, stand by. OM means Ocean Master but I still don't know who made it. I just know it's really sharp right now. Customer number two is a Gerber. 50-50. Straight, serrated. He's, a, he's not a return customer, but his son was here last week, if you remember, he had one, one pocket knife I did for his son. This is the father. I don't know what kind of Gerber it is, but it's a Gerber. Might have a stamp somewhere on it. Stand by. Well, the guy that just had the uh, Gerber, he found this other knife. It's, uh, oh man, Kershaw. We found it in the seat of his truck. He wanted me to sharpen it up for him. So I got two pocket knives so far today. Or actually three, uh, a freebie and a uh, two pairs. Stand by. It's, it's uh, no other vendors in the market other than the kids are here every week and my lady who sells the soap, she's here. But other than that, it's just, it's kind of slow today and the weather is, like I said, it's still threatening a little bit. But it's just her and I and her soap. She has lots of soap. She got more soap than the other soap ladies got. You got a lot of soap, I swear. <laughs> yes, sir. As I'm sharpening up this uh, pocket knife, I get a fella drops one of them old Marine Corps style knives on me. Once I sharpen it up, I'll clean it up a little bit, it's going to carry it across the country. It says Japan. Should be a pretty nice one. Stand by. The Japan right there. Here it says Romo, J417, Romo. I've never seen one quite like this, and I've seen a lot of these knives. Stand by. I started bringing my little buffer to the fair because it does a pretty good job on cleaning these knives up. You can see, I haven't sharpened it yet, I just buffed it up some on a kind of a coarse sizzle wheel. 
got all the uh, make it a little shinier and prettier. Stand by. Razor. I like it. I forgot to tell you, I got a cool package in yesterday from Texas. I'll bring you up to speed on that when I get home. Knife related. It's a lot of knives and something really cool for someone. It's 12.40. Well, we got a little action. It's a shade 133. And a return customer just brought me four international heckles. Stand by. But she doesn't want them till tomorrow. I mean, she wants them today, but she's going to take her children to the beach. She won't be able to get them till tomorrow. So I'm going to drop them off. She don't live too far away. Okay, I got action. Stand by. The package from San Antonio. We'll get to the inside of it in one second. It's uh, for Jocelyn. You know, we've you've seen uh, some stuff from her before. They sent me a really big knife several months ago. Really old ruin knife. This is their channel here. You need to check it out. They found some really cool stuff if you haven't already been here. I mean, I'm... I mean some really cool stuff. Okay. Stand by. This is a ball of fire. He will be a ball of fire in a second when he sees something. Okay. As a note, I hope you can use these. Some knives. I told you it was knife related. It has a really old Barlow pocket knife. That's a nice ticket. This is sh shark, white shark, white no white tail, like a deer. There's a deer head on. Is it? This a heavy duty knife. Here's an old three. Let's see how many blades this got. Three bladed charade. Nice. But the best of it, the best of it, come out of there. The best of it is right there. Big old jack. Three nice new tennis balls. We'll try them out in just a few minutes. Thank you, Jocelyn. I appreciate these knives. Stand by. <laughs> what do you think of that? Huh? What do you think of that action? Mmm, new balls. He said, mmm, they smell funny. They smell like rubber, he said. Well, that's a trucker strain dog right there. Yes, sir. Trucker strain. <laughs> trucker strain jack.
God, that's all he lives for. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> all right, that's enough of Jack. <laughs>